everybody. Welcome to Gander Green Lane on a very soggy and chilly night here in Sutton for what is sure to be an exciting tie in the National League between second and third place sides in the season. Three games gone and Sutton coming into tonight's game with three wins out of three. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Sutton United's starting lineup for today's game is Buzanis in goal, John Barden right back, Eastmond, Rowe and Wyatt finish up the back four. And then we have a midfield of Ajaboye, Beautyman, Rob Milson is the only change of the game um, for Sutton. Goal scorer from the last week's game, Randall, is left mid and Show Silver and Tanto leading the line up front. And the lineup for Notts County goes as follows. Slocum in goal, Richard Brindley, Jake Reeves, Jim O'Brien, the captain, Michael Doyle, Carl Wooten fit after a few concerns coming in prior to the game, Enziold, Boulderwine, Connell Rawlinson, Dion Kelly Evans, the Portuguese star, Ruben Rodriguez, and Alex Lacey make up the Notts County side. And they're looking good in their all sky blue kit. It looks as though he is happy to get started. Whistles in the mouth, and we are off with Notts County taking the kickoff, sending the ball long, looking for Boulderwine. Long throw, looking for the head of show, Silver. Cleared away by Brindley. Wyatt can't get full on control of that one. And here's Boulderwine. Wooten, some good footwork there, manages to make it back over to Brindley. Here's Boulderwine now. A towering figure for the wide man. Barden with the tape around his head after the head injury he received. Ball comes in from the Notts County player. It comes to Wyatt. Sends it long, dangerously, looking for Eastman's head. Will be a goal kick. Now that's a great overlapping run there from Rodriguez. He tries to send it across and it's come off Eastman who luckily allowed for Rowe to clear it away and Olafe is not happy with the decision there it's a curling effort looking for Wooten it falls to Boulderwine and it's off the bar hopefully they'll be a bit more careful this time short from Boulderwine Kelly Evans whips it back post and the Buzanis, oh he's dropped it Buzanis there and that time Carl Wooster was all over him but Buzanis recovered immediately, pipes on him. There goes the half time whistle here at Gander Green Lane, some half eh? Not much between the two sides in terms of chances. And we're underway for the second half with Milson picking up the ball, playing it back to Barden. Ajiboye using this saved up energy from the first half to win a. Oh, he's not won a throw. Here's Brindley looking for Wooten. Eastman manages to steal it and looking to send far through Randall. Here is Will Randall. Finds a Lafe. Falls to Beautyman. On the edge of the box, he's creeped inside now. Randall's going to dink it across. He's looking for the head of Show Silva. Ajaboye plays it across the goal. And that's a good ball. And now Boulderwine. If it wasn't for the amazing interception from Ben Wyatt, then Boulderwine may have added the first goal to this game. Curling away from goal. Headed in over the bar. It's good effort. Was straight at. Buzanis. Here's Olafe. Might come to Beautyman who flicks it on. Silver's come across. And he could not get a firm kick on that. Options are plenty surrounding the edge of the penalty area. Randall's ball in. Shows pull by Rowe and Bugill stretched for it. John Barden just can't fight, can't, just, just about reaches So Silver. 
but he's pinned in the corner. Ajiboye. Skips away from two. Ajiboye has a great run here. Ajiboye strikes. He more or less came off him last as Reeves attempted to clear it. And Rowe swinging a miss, but Barden there to cover. Barden goes back to Buzanis again. Surely last chance saloon. But he's not a good pass by Buzanis. Knowles into the penalty area and Buzanis with a crucial save. But Watson's there and there's the goal. A crucial moment at the end of the game as Carl Watson puts Knox County in the lead in the 93rd minute. It's pure celebration and exultation by the Knox County players as they've stolen it here at Gander Green Lane in pretty much the last second of the game. Bootsman goes long to Slocum's goal, but Slocum was prepared for it. The smash and grab they did on Weymouth on Saturday repeating itself here as the final whistle goes at Gander Green Lane. They've stolen the points. Notts County with through by the one, the one goal, the one that mattered right at the end, quite literally the, almost the last kick of the game.